Looks like it's time for my old Remington to find a new home. This is my 1950 Remington Super Rider. And for those out there wondering, yes, the Remington Firearms Company did manufacture typewriters back in the 1870s. They sold the rights to the typewriter section of the company, I want to say in the late 1890s. This one is a 1950 Super Rider, and it's called a Super Rider because it's the exact model that was used by George Reeves in the old Adventures of Superman television program. The Super Rider is a beautiful, if somewhat utilitarian, designed typewriter. It doesn't get much more basic than this. Remington was actually one of the first companies to actually use the QWERTY keyboard on their typewriters. You can see the basic, like I said, gunmetal utilitarian color here. Let's go ahead and look under the hood. Pop this off. And you can see what she looks like. This is an absolutely excellent condition for being 70 years old. I think I'll clean up the keys a little bit. The mechanisms all work flawlessly. That's for the take-up reels. And the carriage return works awesome. Go ahead and reset that to the center. I won't own a typewriter that doesn't work, so I gotta say, this one always did work perfectly but it's about to find a new home. So for those of you out there who have never actually seen a typewriter before, well, this is how one works. Kind of just feed the paper, spin the plate and reset the carriage, and then you can go ahead and type on it. Take some practice to be able to do that quickly and smoothly and not double strike any of the keys. But as you can see right there, it's my favorite font. The beauty in an old typewriter, in my personal opinion, isn't just the elegant row of keys or striking arms. It's the simple construction that if you really wanted to, you could work on this thing with nothing more than a screwdriver and a pair of tweezers, maybe. Everything is mechanical. There's the bell back there with the bell striker for when the carriage reaches the end. When you're buying these old typewriters like this, you want to make sure it's got all the springs. All the springs are intact on this one. Those feet are in amazing condition. It's one of the other things you'll always see that are chewed up on them. And overall, this is an absolutely fantastic machine. Let's go ahead and pop the back of it open here. This back plate's actually on by pressure springs. You can see right there. If those were missing, that back panel would not stay on. And again, you can see the very utilitarian design. That inside plate there, it's in really good condition too. Remington Rand, made in the USA. If you're ever looking at one of these and you want to know where the serial number is, it's right here. It's pretty much standard on any of these older typewriters. You're always going to find it on this side under the carriage.
and the and and the serial number with that you're going to be able to trace the year of manufacture so you're going to know exactly how old your typewriter is the beautiful thing about old machinery like this is it's actually fairly easy to keep clean because it was designed that way so like to remove the old ink off these keys you can use something as simple as mineral spirits or acetone and in just a couple minutes they shine right up just make sure not to get any on the ribbon or any of the other parts if you can help it and as far as ease of cleaning goes this here is called the platen or the feed roller comes out two little switches or rather levers right here on the sides pull those out and you can lift the entire thing right out of the top of the typewriter now on a lot of these older typewriters this uh, this part here will be dry rotted uh, as you can see this one is in perfect condition the gear teeth are in excellent condition as well but like I said a lot of these will be dry rotted and uh, there's actually quite a bit of big business these days on refinishing these but this one's smooth as silk with just enough grip to feed the paper properly if you're curious how they space lines this is how this works got a one two and a three right down the side here and if it's set on the one the carriage return only progresses the platen one line progresses two once you put it on the two and if you put it on the three the carriage return progresses the platen three lines so that's how that works if you were ever interested this model has a lever over here black white and red and that's because some ribbons will have black white and red stripes going down them and depending upon where this lever is set if it's set on the red it'll type in red if it's set on the white it'll type in white and if it's set on the black the standard it will in fact type in black so just in case you ever see this on the front of a typewriter that's what that's all about this lever here that I was messing with earlier it changes the direction of the ribbon take up reels one way progresses it that way and one way progresses it the opposite way so you can feed the ribbon back in to the original reel if you're ever buying one of these you're going to want to look at this reel down behind in the back of the typewriter this is what creates the tension on the carriage return a lot of the times these bands will be frayed so if you ever buy one you want to make sure that's uh that's in good condition it's not frayed it's nice and uh got a good tension on it you can see it here from this angle from the top down and as you can see on this one that band is again in perfect condition so looking at it one more time on the other side you'll see where it comes out on this side and you can feel the tension right there all those teeth perfectly clean there and it's awesome just to look at the uh, manufacturing detail as well the intricate design I mean you can see where a uh, firearms company certainly excelled in this market last but not least we'll take a look at the back here if you wanted to or you were courageous enough you could uh, go ahead and pop this off just a couple screws and you could get into the real deep inner workings but I've never done that overall I'm just gonna say it again this is a fantastic awesome machine I have really enjoyed having it in my collection but it's going to a new home and hopefully they will appreciate it just as much as I have. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. 
you enjoyed this video, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to follow us on Instagram, see what we're up to throughout the week between videos, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.